Last time, we discussed about the measurement of the arc and we're able to get it using the central angle and the inscribed angle. This time, we will be discussing about arc length. You have to take note that the arc length is different from the degree measure of an arc. So technically, arc length is a portion of your circumference. So if a circle is made up of string, the length of the arc is the linear distance of the piece of string representing the arc. So let's say with this circle, then if you put a string and put it from B to C, then the length of the string will also be the arc length or it's part of the circumference of a circle. Now how do we solve for the arc length? The arc length of an arc of a circle is the product of the ratio which is the measure of the arc over 360 and the measure of the circumference. So again, you just have to multiply measure of the arc over 360 degree by the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle is solved by using 2 pi r. Let's take a look at this example. So let's say we have this circle O. If the radius is 12 cm, then what is the length of arc AB? So the one that is missing here now is the length of arc AB. So we have here the radius which is segment AO and segment BO. So let's write here, we know that this is 12 cm. Okay, now the formula for solving for the arc length is measure of the arc over 360 multiplied to the circumference which is solved by 2 pi r. Now we have to identify the measure of the arc. So from the figure, there is a central angle here, which is the angle AOB, and it measures 60 degrees. Now, using the central angle intercepted arc postulate, we can use this and solve for the measure of the arc. So if this is 60 degrees, therefore, the measurement of arc AB is also 60 degrees. Now let's substitute this to the formula. So you have 60 over 360 multiplied to 2 pi and we're also given the r which is the radius and that is 12 centimeter. Simplifying this, so this will become 1 over 6 multiplied to 24 pi. Simplifying it even more, we can simplify 6 and 24. Therefore, the measure or the length of arc AB is now 4 pi. So this is now the length of arc AB. So next example, let's have again circle O. This time the radius is 30 centimeter. And we have here measurement of arc ACB which is 240 degrees. Now we need to find again the length of arc AB. So again the formula measure of arc all over 360 then multiply it to circumference which is 2 pi r now we don't know the measurement of arc ab and we don't know also the measure of the central angle which is angle aob so we cannot apply the central angle intercepted arc postulate but since we have here the measurement of arc acb therefore we can still solve for the measurement of arc a, B. From what we know, the whole circle measures 360 degrees. Therefore, to solve for the measurement of arc AB, what we can do is we can just subtract 240 to 360 degrees. So therefore, the measurement of arc AB is 120 degrees. So we can now substitute this to the formula so you have 120 over 360 multiplying it to 2 pi r 
So R this time is 30. So simplifying it, you have one third. Multiply to 2 times 30, that is 60 pi. Simplifying it even more, then the answer now is 20 pi. And that's it for today. That is how you saw for the length of an arc. And I hope you learned something and see you next time.